she's going to turn $424 into $6,000 to $10,000 offer. Finally settled on $215, paid a dollar for it at the bins. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These bolo items come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I posted this in the group, share your best June bolo, and members of the group the Facebook group, which looks like this, share their bolos. If you're not in the Facebook group, there's my link tree down below. You can click on that and it will take you into all my links and it will say Facebook and you guys can go over and join. So if you want to share a bolo, awesome. If not, no worries. Let's talk about these big money bolos. Figs scrub set. Never heard of it. Um, I love it when you guys post your clothing bolos because that's not something that I typically talk about a lot on my channel, so it's good to know. Uh, this is Figs Scrub Technical Collection Women's Two-Piece Set Jogger. It's scrubs. Uh, paid $15 at a local yard sale. Bought four pairs three weeks ago. Two have sold. Buyer paid $64.49 with free shipping, which cost me $8.30 in a padded plate flat rate. So about 47 profit. I usually charge shipping, but wanted to see if they sold fast and free. Bought three of these at 303 from VV. What's VV? They all sold for 300 at different times. It is a teacher program for kids with the workbooks and answer booklet. VV. I'm not sure what that is. Reading Lab series, uh, yeah, definitely a bolo, 300 bucks. I started my journey at the first of the year. Wow. I took a gamble at an estate sale and picked this set up for $8. So crazy, the first of the year, like just a brand new reseller. So you guys in the Facebook group, there are people who are brand new to reselling and people who have been reselling for a very, very long time. So you are definitely going to learn so much. Started my journey at the first of the year. I took a gamble on this at an estate sale and picked this set up for $8. I hadn't invested that much in one item before. Sold in a day and a half for $75. It's a Sierra Glasses Pitcher Black 22 Karat Gold Coin 7-piece set. Rocks Whiskey Bob Wallach. I'm going to tell you much props for grabbing a breakable and being so early in your reselling career. That's crazy. Um, found this vintage backgammon set at a local garage sale in a box of free stuff. Cost of goods was zero and sold for an offer of 110. Took about a month to sell. Very happy with that profit. Yes, um, but it is Bakelite. So whoo, I probably would have put that up for auction. Um, anytime you find a vintage game that has Bakelite, I would do an auction. I cannot believe you got that in the free box. Congratulations. This is what it looks like. Paid $20 for a bag of Calico Critters items that came with a dollhouse. I almost left the house behind, but remembered Courtney takes them apart and sells the pieces. So I brought it home and started taking it apart. When I saw that this house was rare and sells for $150, I had to put it back together. It all sold on auction for $199.99. Yeah, if you've got the whole dollhouse, definitely keep it together. But if not, those doors, those windows, those railings, those stairs, those all pull off and you can sell them individually. People are looking for them. I can see in her listing, it says just missing the front, the front porch rails and steps. So if somebody's going to buy this from her and then they're going to look on eBay for those replacement parts. Congratulations. Nice sale. And thanks for remembering my little tip. All right. I picked up this tall ceramic tiki mug at a garage sale for $1.50 and it sold for the buy it now price of $125 in about a month. It is a the Mighty uh, Alcala Tiki Mug False Idol First Edition 2017 Bosco Trader Dane whatever all that means. <laughs> Husband found this online at an online auction site. Equips bid, I think. Never heard of that. Was a blurry photo and a bad description. Said something about two neon lights and the other light was a neon 
flamingo that sits on a table. Anyway, he figured out what this was and won it. Paid $3, cleaned and tested it, works. Put it on auction and it sold for more, but buyer flaked out. Relisted and no bids ended. Received two messages saying they missed it, but offered $450. Reposted and took an offer for $450. Immediate payment received. Amazing, fine, long story, amazing bolo. Very rare vintage oil rain lamp, collectible black light neon retro light. Wow, $450, that's great. This one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode. She is a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel at level two or higher. That means they get the perk of having their YouTube channel or eBay store popped up and the links are down below. She has an amazing YouTube channel. Her videos are totally, totally different than mine and you guys are gonna love it. Um, she sources totally different from me and she just has this elegance about her. You guys are gonna wanna go check her out. She said, I remember seeing straw hats on a YouTube video selling for big money. So I decided to list a few and I just sold my first one for 90 on Etsy. It was marked on the inside, Colonial Williamsburg, obviously a representation of an early piece. I paid $5 for it at a rummage sale. This most, the most challenging part was finding a box that was large and shallow enough for it to fit in. So $90. Now I will say one thing with straw hats. I learned about straw hats from Butterfly Hustles. This is her YouTube channel. Go and follow her. She's incredible. But um, I did not sell straw hats. And then I watched one of her what sold videos and she was selling them for big money. And I was like, I'm going to look for some straw hats. And I found some and I've done really, really well with them. A lot of them are foldable. So um, a great box is the Priority Mail shoe box and you just kind of bend it up. Or there's the 12 by 12 by nine uh, Priority Mail box that you can usually just sit them down in. This one does not look as flexy as the ones that I typically sell. So um, her title says Vintage Colonial Williamsburg. Oh, I can't read it, it's so small. I'll, I'll pop it up and I will make it bigger for you guys. <laughs> All right, this one also comes from Abigail's Artful Abode. She said, I had this unusual tiki MCM bird whose feathers and head were knives and forks. Hmm. Eventually, someone on Etsy decided it was worth buying. It sold for $73 and the buyer was thrilled. I can't remember what I paid for it. I want to say I bought it for $12 at an antique mall in Boulder. And this is what it looks like. This one also comes from Abigail's Artful Abode. She said, I picked up this set of 35 cigar flags for $10 in a huge box at a vintage market. They were novelty items that came in cigar boxes and these looked to be from the 30s or 40s. I decided to keep them all together and listed them for 85 on eBay. They sold within a week making for a tidy profit. And this is what they look like. This is from May and I was so excited to really have one to share but just now figured out how to find the post for it, a, for it on a mobile device. I picked this up for 50 cents at a yard sale without checking comps and a few other card games. When checking comps at the time, there were only two sold. The game was 100% complete and I listed it for $80. Last sold was 69. Took a best offer of 70 about a week later. Gorilla Games card game Lifeboat by Jeff Cedic. 100% complete, excellent used condition. That's what it looks like. This isn't just a single bolo, this is sort of a group bolo. While going through our garage for a yard sale, my hubby found a stack of View Master Reels. I snagged them to list since I was pretty sure I could get more from them online. I wasn't wrong. I have sold Tom and Jerry in the beginning, Casper the Friendly Ghost, Olympic National Park, Washington, Mount Rain Rainier National Park, Washington, Crater Lake National Park, America's Man, in Space, 1962, Seattle, Washington, Tacoma, Smith Tower, Master of the Universe, Fat Albert Cosby's Kids. They sold for between five and 15. I sold three on eBay, two on Mercari, and five on Facebook Marketplace. I still have 10 listed with three left to list. So do you part it out or do you sell it as a lot? Uh, five to 15 each. So definitely a bolo when you add them all up together. Um, but definitely time consuming to list them all individually. Uh, let me know what you guys would have done. Would you have listed as a lot or sold individually? 
I purchased these little figures in a four dollar box of vintage military toys at a garage sale so four bucks and had no idea what they were i consulted google photos google lens and still wasn't quite sure and when i put alex archer in the title i included a question mark thanks again google photos less than a buck into a little over a hundred i love selling toys me too 30 piece lot of vintage alex archer question mark spaceman toys astronauts mini multicolor 1950s and this is what they look like paid nine dollars on march 13th at the goodwill sold on june 6th for full price of 200 these i'm sorry this brand's been on my bucket list to find for a couple years this coat retails for 450 dollars it is the great cottage plaid yale coat size large Sold on eBay for 120, uh, I'm sorry, sold on eBay for 215. I listed it for 250 and then countered a couple times after he messaged me three times in an hour about his initial 150 offer. Finally settled on 215, paid a dollar for it at the bins. It's an Aurora Cartier Leopard with NC, or I'm sorry, NYC Taxi 8 inch plush stuffed animal. This is what it looks like. He's cute. Hi, Courtney. Thanks for the opportunity to share my June bolos. I have a few. I'm a new online reseller, but seasoned thrifter and been selling on Poshmark under 411 Johnny since December. After watching your videos, I learned to look for glasses cases. Picked up six for a dollar each at a local thrift. Sold one Vera Bradley for 18, then accepted a bundle offer from another buyer for four of them for 50. Kate Spade, Vera Bradley, Nicole Miller, and Draper james never heard of that one so all of these on poshmark so sunglasses cases pick this up at the goodwill bin so maybe 50 cents in it and sold for full asking price of 40 dollars. it is a snore rx mouth guard storage case instructions booklet and fitting handle reduces snoring while you sleep yeah as long as this is not a medical device i feel like this might have been I could be wrong, but in one of my Vero videos on eBay, I'm not 100% sure. But before you list on an eBay, be careful. I'm not 100% sure, but she sold it on Poshmark. So I know you can't sell prescription items, but I don't think, well, it says, it says Snore RX. Hmm. Be careful with that one. I'm not sure. Just an FYI. I don't know. It could be fined. I could be misreading or thinking about something different. Pick this up also at a Goodwill Bins, so less than $2. Had it listed for $90 for two days, then closed my closet for a 10-day vacation. Day after returning, received an offer for $76, and I accepted. Happy to get a quick sale after being away. Rothy's Sage Camo Essential Wristlet Zipper Magnetic Pouch. Um, sold for $76. This is what it looks like. Had to add this one. This one is Jersey Shore Thrifter. Some, uh, I'm sorry, same estate sale where I found the hockey mask. This set of books cost $10. Took about five weeks to sell for full asking price of $274.95 plus shipping. If you see this set or any individual books from it, latch those bolo seeking fingers on it and don't let go. <laughs> Jerry, you're funny. Man, Myth, and Magic, Illustrated Encyclopedia, Supernatural, Complete, set of 24 books. First edition, I think, is what that means. Not a huge bolo, but super cute and loved the vintage look. Listed for almost a year, sold for full asking price of $45 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $59.73. Lilies of Beverly Hills Vintage Tennis Outfit. So, long tail, but um, doesn't take up much space. Found this vintage Christmas tree kit at a yard sale for two bucks. Sold on Etsy for $125 plus shipping. Vintage 1985 Westrom Crafts Mini Christmas Tree Kit Open Box Complete Craft New Old Stock. And this is what it looks like. Found this at the Salvation Army. And this one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. Check her out on YouTube. And she is awesome. 
Uh, $3.99 was badly scratched, but decided to take it home, clean it up, and test it. It played fine without skipping. What makes this special is the Van Gelder stamp. It was the 1963 pressing, so it was only worth about 50 to 60 If it had been the 1961, it would have been worth hundreds or even thousands. Put it up for a seven-day auction, and it didn't sell first week. Reposted for auction with offers of at least 58 and sold the first day of the auction for 58 plus shipping. Yeah, Mom Knows Treasures knows a lot about records, so be sure to check out her YouTube channel. She's great. Found at my local thrift store for a dollar, but it was 25% off day, so it cost 75 cents. Put on auction for 40 with best offers accepted of at least 37. Sold same day on best offer. This is a Spanish and English Tex-Mex record with various artists. 15 in 15 hits with the Big Texas Groups Volume 3. Loosely translated. I don't know what any of that means, but this is what it looks like. I went to an estate sale for the mushroom, but recognized the first group in line and knew I wasn't getting near a merry mushroom. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so she went to an estate sale and recognized that the people in front of her probably were going to grab that mushroom. Good thing I had done my research on all the other items. I walked in and grabbed five Hess trucks, $10 each. Typically, these are at best bread and butter, but this one is super rare and I got three. Sold two and I have the last listed. One sold didn't work at all. Second sold worked mostly. Third works perfect. The two sold breaks down to cost 20 sold for 1050 <gasps> That's awesome. Congratulations. Forget that mushroom. <laughs> there you go. Same Mary Mushroom sale. $3 each because I knew the blue and white would sell. Andrea by Sadik or Sadik Fishnet Items. These four sold quick and I have two left as of writing. <clears throat> excuse me. As of writing this. Total so far $12 cost. Sold for $122 plus shipping. Two picks for the four items. And this is what it looks like. So she sold two and has two left. Hit a yard sale around 1130. Yeah, I was late. Picked up a Mortal Kombat bookends for $5 and sold for 80 on Mercari. And that was not the big find there because there was a full table of books. I pulled Stephen King and Esotric. I don't know how to say it. Then found Warhammer, which is a tabletop game like Dungeons and Dragons, but in space with Marines. $2 a book and 200 later, I drove away very happy. Then remembered three blocks away that he said he had more in the house. Emptied my car, then to the bank and 200 more. Total 231 books for $424. So about a hundred, I'm sorry, about a dollar eighty four each. I've almost doubled my money in ten sales. Wow! So ten sales, she's doubled her money, and she has two hundred and thirty one books. The top sale so far is the picture. So three books spent five fifty two, best offer of three hundred plus shipping. So around two hundred books to go and six to ten k value. Wow. She's going to turn $424 into $6,000 to $10,000 in books. I always pass by books. I've got to look at books. Here's the one for $340. Oh, no, I'm sorry. She took a best offer of $300. The Horace Hersey Primarch 1 Raboot. Oh, my goodness. What kind of... This is what it looks like. I don't even know. I can't read that. So I guess long story short, buy books that you can't read the titles of. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know how you found the channel. Be sure to go down to the description, join the Facebook group, check out all of the people that were mentioned in this video. And as always, thanks for watching.